Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023, GSR 23, being held in Sham Sheikh in Egypt, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Cezo Noe, who is the Director of the Telecommunications Standardization Bureau for ITU. Mr. Noe, welcome to the studio. Yeah, thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about regulation for a sustainable digital future is the theme for this year's GSR. Why is this important? Uh, yes, uh, as you know, the recent years, uh, technological change is so rapid. Uh, new technologies are emerging, and also that accelerates the digital transformation. Digital transformation uh, is creating a kind of the uh, convergence in technological area as well as the business uh, across industries, different uh, sectors, different particular industries. At the same time, it may create some uh, associated convergence in the regulations, regulatory matters. So uh, it is important that we come together and discuss from the different views of uh, different perspective and views from the different stakeholders. So uh, GSR, this symposium pro provides such a uh, venue. And also the, uh, basically the GSR is focusing on the regulation, but it attracts the variety of the industry players. So we have many stakeholders here. So it's a very good place to discuss uh, our activities so far. Uh, so also the, uh, I believe that the public-private partnership is also very important to realize such uh, policies and the industry's businesses. So uh, th that's my views. And also in general, regulations need to evolve in response to the uh, market reality. So uh, this symposium uh, gives a uh, global views for that evolution. Now you're the ITUT, the uh, Telecommunications Standardization Bureau uh, Director. How are ITU's technical standards supporting sustainable development and addressing the associated priorities of policymakers and regulators? Standards support uh, innovation at scale, as cost effectively as possible. Also, that uh, provides uh, reliability and uh, interoperability. Finally, ultimately, that creates a, a create a confidence to continue to investing in future technologies and future policymakers and regulators aim to benefit society as a whole. So standards provide a strong tool to achieve that. IQ covers a wide variety of the areas for the that for that. Uh, for example, wide variety of the areas uh, from the uh, energy and mobility to uh, finance, financial services and agriculture and smart cities. And as such, ITU standards contribute to the uh, policy makers and regulators. Excellent. Well, no, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon indeed. Yep. Thank you for having me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, we've got plenty more interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as our SoundCloud channel or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for more information, go to www.itu.int. Thank you very much indeed.